So one month ago, we learned that there was a user in kernel level code execution or system OS that was announced for the Xbox One. There was some instructions in here on some of the things that you needed to do, such as download an application called GameScript. We then saw Microsoft take action and they took the GameScript application out of the Microsoft Store. Now, there was a proof of concept that was already released from the exploit author, which was this script, which folks were able to input into the game script application in order to see if their system was vulnerable or not. Then things became a little quiet until we saw the original exploit author released this video right here, which was called Reversed Shell on Xbox Retail Mode, and that the video starts right as the exploit starts on the Series X. Okay, so the very first thing that I noticed when I was taking a look at this video that she released was, was that it does say right up here, this is Microsoft Windows, and while it says version 10, this is obviously running version 11, which is, or Windows 11, which is the very latest version. And I can tell you from my system right here, which is Windows 11, she is just basically on a little bit later build than I am on. So I don't update my machine as fast as probably some people do, uh, mainly because I want it to be a little bit more stable by the time it hits my machine. So anyway, you can tell that I was using 621 and she is on 631. Now, again, they're just inside the user's directory, which is by default. And so this absolutely is just her name there, just like mine, you know, strips off the last couple of characters. Now, this command right here is basically called netcat. So this is described as kind of like a networking Swiss army tool. They are passing the parameters here, which is LVNP, and they're passing that over to port 6969. And a great way to kind of understand what's going on is, is that there is this website called explainshell.com, and you can put in the command just to see what exactly was happening. So I did this for her command, and this is obviously using netcat, which is the TCIP Swiss Army knife. And then for the commands, the L is for listen mode and then verbose. And then it's going to be numeric only. And then finally, just a port number. So really, there wasn't a lot of magic in that LVNP there. So let's switch back to the video. And then we can see this one is starting to run. And it is listening for basically any IP address on that port 6969. Now, it is important to note here is, is that either there is something that's happening on the game script side that has already been executed that has opened this up, which is what I would assume, but still to be determined on that one. And then when it connects, we can also see that it connected to an Xbox. Uh, looking at this version number right here, and I'm just going to compare it to one of my older videos. And you can see that the numbers right here absolutely match up with the OS version that I originally put, you know, in my video that came out right around four weeks ago. Now, at this point, they are inside the program files, as well as in Windows apps, which is where the games live. And this game right here, which I believe to be Vermintide 2, but I haven't found a way to determine what this is so far, like Google searches do not come back with anything for this. So letting the video play on right here, so we can see they just changed back to the root of the S drive, doing a directory listing here. So on the directory listing, we can see that there is the apps, clips, uh, deployments, and so forth. Now they're beginning to write in an echo statement. And so echo nice into a file called hackt.txt. And it did complete successfully because there was no errors down here. And now they just did a directory listing again. And right there is the file. And there is the date that was at least timestamped to it. 
Now they're running this type command here and they're just going to output it to the screen and there it shows nice, which is exactly what they added to that file just a little bit earlier. They're switching to the O drive, which should be the DVD drive. And now they've just inputted into the licenses and they're doing a quick directory listing here. And right here, if I pause it on this one, we can see that the volume in drive O is DVD-ROM. And they're inside, again, the license folders. And right there is Vermintide 2, as well as the DLC, which means this is the ultimate edition. Now, if you do watch my videos, you'll probably remember where I took the physical copy of Vermintide 2 right here. And what I learned was, was that I was able to install the full game disc on my Xbox. The DLC is included on the disc and you do not need any sort of online connected scenario. Completely offline will work and the game will boot. And I did play a little bit of this and the game is a lot of fun. Now, this is their mouse cursor. So what you can see here is, is that they also highlight this Vermintide 2 as being part of that license. And then they do a quick type to show that full license file on their system. So I'll just go ahead and let it play out here. And that is basically the end of the video as well as just showing what that license file looks like. Now, obviously, that license is no good for anybody that watches this because that is obviously tied to that console and to that user and probably a bunch of other security. I guess the next question you are probably asking is when and well, the only thing the exploit author has released has just been soon. So pretty interesting stuff. And I think Tom will just tell how this plays out. Anyway, thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!